Hello students and a very warm welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on geology. We will actually focus on both theoretical as well as analytical concepts. So let's get started with the tutorial. Let us read the question first. The question says that at a depth of 500 meters, the determine in C2 stresses in a rock mass as follows. Okay. So let us read. Maximum horizontal stress is 20. So let me mark. It is given that sigma 1 is 20. This is horizontal stress. Then minimum horizontal stress is 8. So sigma 3 is 8. This is also horizontal And lastly, the vertical stress is this. So, sigma, this is sigma 2, 13.5. This is vertical. Now, the question is, assume principal stress direction are vertical and horizontal. Okay. If this compressive stress field leads to faulting, the plausible fault would be, so we need to comment what, what kind of fault will be the result or outcome. So let us see, normal fault actually is maximum stress less vertical intermediate and minimum stress horizontal then you have reverse stress or reverse fault under this you have maximum stress horizontal intermediate And minimum stress are horizontal and vertical respectively. Next we move on to the strike slip fault. So here maximum and minimum stresses are actually horizontal and the intermediate stress is vertical. So if you go by the information that is provided in the last two line of the question you can see that we need to stop here because strike slip fall exactly it, the this particular analysis show that it correctly fit in with the description that has been provided in the question that means we should stop here and then c will be the correct answer to this particular question now let us move on to the next question the next question says if a rectangle is deformed into a parallelogram of equal area by simple shear deformation with shear strain given by gamma parallel to abscissa, the displacement matrix will be, so we have 0, gamma, 1, 0. This is our deformation matrix. For simple shear and this 0 0 gamma becomes the pure shear that means the correct answer to this particular question will be option number C so I hope this short tutorial on geology was helpful to you guys if yes then don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe to our channel as we upload videos on regular basis not only 
Our tutorials are restricted to the subject geology but also on other subjects as well like economics, mathematics, physics, chemistry, you just name it, we have it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you find our videos helpful.